I'm the uh, longest serving openly gay journalist at the White House. Uh, I'm sure there have been others before me, and there certainly have been people after me, but in terms of continuous person with a hard pass to the White House, it's me. What do you think the significance is now of Anderson Cooper and other journalists coming out? Well, I'm delighted that they're coming out. I mean, it's, it's about time, and it shows that uh, time has, has changed. Um, you know, I, I think for me as a journalist, it means that a lot of people often come to me with certain questions, certainly around don't ask, don't tell, that was an issue. Um, I've been invited both the first year and this year, which is, you know, the first and fourth year that the president did a reception for gay folks at the White House. Um, so uh, I think that people come to me and ask me a lot of questions. I'm not sure I have any better answers than anybody else. Let's get to the important topic here, goats. Goats. Your movie. What do you hope people take away from your movie? Well, what I would like everybody to take away from the movie is to give us a goat for South Sudan. South Sudan, uh, before uh, some of the situation in Somalia, was considered the hungriest place on earth. It's a brand new country. It's a Christian country. Um, they had 2.5 million people uh, killed in the war. Think about a country of 9 million people and 2.5 million people, or let's even say 2 million, because maybe some of them were from the north killed in a war. Can you imagine an entire country which is in post-traumatic stress? So we went over there, we took six talk show hosts. I was bitten by the South Sudan bug and, um, and go there every 12 weeks. And a goat makes a huge difference for somebody uh, because if you have a goat, uh, a lot of our women, they make these beautiful hearts. Um, and uh, the women have, women who make our hearts have seen somebody or heard somebody killed in front of them because often they're hiding in a tree or the woods and they hear the sounds. Um, and a goat can make a difference. A lot of our women eat every other day. And so a goat produces milk. The milk doesn't need to be homogenized. And that's why for my 60th birthday, I started Goats for the Old Goat. It's a brilliant idea. I mean, it's it it just sort of came to me. Yeah, and it is makes people self-sustaining. Several people can get together and start a little dairy, and they can make goat's cheese, and they can sell it in the market. And um, it's made a huge difference for our people. And again, uh, you know, you feed a kid a cup of goat's milk a day, it makes a real difference between just out-and-out -out malnutrition and, and being able to be not hungry.